Sir St. Lucy has something going on. Sir St. Lucy has something going on. He has something going on. Thank you with tonight a heartbreaking end to the search for a missing 16 year old in Port St. Lucy. Police say they have identified the body found in the St. Lucie River near White City Park on Friday as Jaden Williamson. Williamson was reported missing Wednesday of last week. Investigators do not suspect foul play and they're waiting on toxicology reports to find out more about the cause of death. From fear to anguish, the urgent search for a missing little girl ends with the discovery of her body in a retention pond yards from her Treasure Coast home. And tonight, the same community that came together to search for four-year-old Chelsea Noel will join hands in a memorial to remember her. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman is live in the Port St. Lucie neighborhood where divers found Chelsea. To Port St. Lucie, where police need your help finding a missing teen. They're looking for this 13-year-old, Zagari White, last seen in the area of Northwest Fairfax Avenue, wearing a blue and white polo shirt, black undershirt, and blue jeans. Port St. Lucie police, they're asking for the public's help tonight, helping in locating 15-year-old Mercedes Drury here. Mercedes was last seen last night at 1030 at her home located in Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie police are asking for your help in finding a missing woman who they say is in danger. Her name is Sonia Maria Gados. She was last seen Sunday near the 2800 block of Southeast Wiltshire Terrace. Port St. Lucie police, they need your help finding this missing man. They say Joshua Marshall was seen here at a 7-Eleven store on Walton Road around 4 o'clock this morning, but that's the last time anyone saw him. Lynn Hammer was last seen at about 8.30 yesterday morning. She left her home to go shopping in Martin County, but no one's heard from her since. She was driving a 2016 white Lexus with Florida license plate GRFV45. If you've seen or heard from her, call the Port St. Lucie Police Department. People this morning. Philip Bradley was last heard from yesterday afternoon. He left his home to pay his utility bill in Fort Pierce, but police say the bill has still not been paid. He drives a 2006 Green Chrysler Town and Country with that Florida tag of GPWU68. A terrible end tonight in the search for a missing Port St. Lucie man on the autism spectrum. Police found the body of Joshua Marshall in a retention pond. Now, St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputies, they are searching for 15-year-old Ricky Henson. Take a look at your screen. There's a picture of him. Deputies think that he may have been abducted. He was last seen at 5 o'clock yesterday night on Greenwood Drive in Fort Pierce. His cell phone was found on the ground. Deputies say Henson needs medication. They are asking for your help. Right now, police in Fort St. Lucie need your help finding this woman. She is 76-year-old Gunta Tingberg. Police are concerned because she suffers from dementia. New this morning, Port St. Lucie police need your help to find this man who's uh, missing. He has dementia. 61-year-old My, uh, James Michael Young was last seen along South uh, out. South West Gaskin Circle. They say that he left his home on a bicycle at about 10 yesterday morning. He hasn't been seen since. Right now, Port St. Lucie police need your help finding this missing 88-year-old man who has dementia and diabetes. Police say Porfirio Corrales Abando was last seen in the 7600 block of Northwest Green Spring Street shortly after 4 this afternoon. According to police, he was visiting from Palm Beach County and looking for a bus station. Jada Hallam, she's 16 years old. She was last seen in Port St. Lucie. She's believed to be wearing black pants and a blue lace top. She also has a tattoo on her left ankle of her name as well as a nose ring. Call 911 or the Port St. Lucie Police Department if you see her or know anything. We begin with breaking news, a very active situation just north of Port St. Lucie. It's right in this area right here. Deputies found three bodies very close to in this community. News Channel 5's John Shaman live outside a home on Ash Street with what he's uncovered. John. Jay and Kelly, murders, suicides, or both? Well, no answers yet, but you can see right now behind me, detectives very busy at this home at 606 Ash. They got the call to come out here uh, just before 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, they got a search warrant late this afternoon. You can see a barrier has been set up. That garage has just been opened in the last hour, and yes, you can smell something. As for what happened earlier today, the homeowner went in expecting to find no one as the previous tenants had moved out. But he discovered the decomposing body of what is believed to be 
a woman inside. And then around the same time that this discovery was made, another call, a second call came in that a second body had been found in the Oleander Pines neighborhood less than a mile away. Neighbors there tell me the homeowner on Shelley Terrace was a retired man and that the woman whose body was found in this first home in the adjoining neighborhood was his girlfriend. Now, as for the third body, the sheriff says it was found by a car uh, down the street from here at the end of uh, Beach Avenue at Rio Mart. Right now, Port St. Lucie police need your help finding this missing teen. 14-year-old uh, Quinoa Sanchez has been reported missing. She was reported Monday missing. She was last seen wearing a white sweatshirt with red letters reading Pace Center for Girls. Right now, Port St. Lucie police need your help in finding 13-year-old Jessica Flores. She's considered endangered. Flores was last seen at her home in Port St. Lucie, not been heard from since. If you know where she could be, please call police. Breaking news, Port St. Lucie police want you to take a good look at this picture. This is 11-year-old Gabriel Matthew Clitt. Police say he ran away from his home on Southeast Burgundy Lane tonight around 8 o'clock. The police air unit and a bloodhound are out searching. If you see Gabriel, please call 911. Lucy Police Department is looking for information regarding a missing teenager. If you have any information about her whereabouts, you are asked to contact the St. Lucie County Police Department. Now we'd ask you to take a good look at your screen. Port St. Lucie Police need your help to find this missing mother and her eight-year-old son. Georgia Brown and Karam Govins Jr. haven't been seen since Friday. It's right now the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office needs your help to find a missing mom and her son. Please take a close look at your TV screen. This is Nancy Fursing and her 13-year-old son, Mateo. The Sheriff's Office says they were last seen early Saturday morning at a convenience store in Indian River County. The Sheriff's Office says Fursing was reportedly having a mental breakdown of some sort and not taking her prescribed medications. Fursing may be driving a dark gray Toyota Yaris. The Police have just identified remains found last week in a vacant lot in Port St. Lucie. Detectives say dental records confirm the remains belong to Sean Hughes, a man reported missing back in 2016. Police don't know a cause of death, but do not suspect foul play. Police need your help to find this missing woman. Fort Pierce police say 32-year-old Reva Strauss of Port St. Lucie has been missing since Friday evening. She was last seen near North Lawnwood Circle. Right now, Port St. Lucie police are searching for two missing girls. I want you to take a look here. This is 12-year-old Deanna Parker. She was last seen Monday morning at her home. Police believe she may be in the Fort Pierce area. Also missing, 17-year-old Jessica Love Carswell. She was last seen more than a month ago at her home, also Port St. Lucie area. You can share this picture on our WPTV Facebook page and anyone who knows where either of these two missing girls are, please call police. The number is at the bottom of your screen. Port St. Lucie is an extremely safe place to live and that uh, I think is an indication of how well our police department does. We are the safest city of any city 100,000 plus population and we have been that way for consecutive years. Port St. Lucie has something going on. Port St. Lucie has something going on. Going on. She is something going on.